Ooh, not bad. What's that? Stop. Okay, I found money. <laughs> Where would you like to go, sir? Anywhere. Good. Do take me. Oh, well, no. Okay. <laughs> Anywhere smoothly. It wasn't that bad. You were trying to throw me around. I was trying to throw you around, but I was throwing you around smoothly. Can you drive nicely so the camera doesn't shift? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so, off we go. What? Do try and drive smoothly, Jeeves. What are you doing? Nothing, nothing at all. I'm just uh, checking why, the durability. Why am I hearing noises? You're not hearing noises at all, Ahmed. You're getting to a senile age. Why am I seeing. 30 is like. Why am I seeing pieces of the car going. You are not seeing anything, Ahmed. You are completely and utterly wrong. Now, do drive slower and smoother. Welcome back again. I mean, again. again. Welcome back again. This is a separate so, day of filming. Another episode of Just Drive. Yes. And today we've got a different car for review. Yes. We've got the Chrysler Pacifica. Lovely looking car. Uh, surprised, surprised us in quite a few ways. Stay tuned to find out what they are. Yeah. And do you want to have a little walk around? We'll see what we think of it. Just a quick walk around. Just a quick walk around. Stuff. Exactly. Cool. So, Okay, so Ahmed, first thoughts? It's a Chrysler. It's a Chrysler. And it looks good. It looks like any other Chrysler. It see. does. It is. It's, it's a good looking seat, car. 200 seat. It's yes. Nice. You got the LEDs over here. You have the 18, 17 inch wheels. Sorry, not 18. You have the 17 inch wheels. Okay. And you have the sliding doors. Yes, you do. Which neither of us have the key. I have the key. <laughs> Beautifully yeah, opened by our model. Exactly. So? Moving around to the back. It's, it's a van. It is, it's a minivan, it's, which is a first for us. Yes. And... There's something actually surprising over here. A chair. Exactly. Yeah. And a big trunk. And a big trunk. But we'll do uh, this in the Fresh. Shall we continue? Yes, we shall continue walking around. It won't close with you there, <laughs> luckily. So, there it's is a big car. Much to say apart from it being a big car. Yes. Um, it's a pretty car actually. Yes. And it can seat a lot of people. Uh huh. And a lot of items. So surprisingly, for a minivan, it's rather on the pretty side, I think. Especially from the front fascia, you've got that classic Chrysler look, which isn't an ugly look. It's a good-looking car, and it's certainly very long. It approaches five and a half meters. And that is obviously five and a half meters. It's a big thing, and a big car. So comfortably, you fit a lot of people. The minivan is just a It is literally just a miniature van. So, so about we hop in. Exactly. Find out what we think of this. I think I'll drive first. Yeah. And then. That's it. We'll see what you think. We'll see you in a bit. Cool.
So, we're in the inside. Another day, another car? Yep, or maybe the same day. Anyway, what? another we car. We are inside the Chrysler Pacifica. You join us back inside the Chrysler Pacifica. You join us back inside the Chrysler Pacifica. <laughs> and yep. it's a different car to review, honestly. Yes. It's so, I'm gonna sprout off some facts here, just so you start so we can get it over and done with. 3.6 litre engine, uh, 287 brake horsepower. Um, that's all you need to know. It's an MPV. The exit is here. Yeah, okay. I can I put your seatbelt on? Sorry. So, we've cleared yes. out the... We've just started with the facts that it's, you know, 3.6 the statistics. Yeah. Okay, the, uh, this is not... When you buy this car, you don't look at You're not numbers. looking at for the power. Exactly. Okay. So we just get it done. So this is an MPV. This is, in fact, our first MPV on the channel. MPV? Or is that short for a van? It's a minivan. Okay. So, we're driving in a van. Something it's a very minivan, different. It's a minivan, it's not a van. Something, something different, something unusual. Yes. Okay. Unusual for us. Unusual for us, okay. But, the thing is... It's a good car. It's a good. <laughs> it, we were surprised by it. Okay, we so, were surprised by a couple of things. Yes. In so the car. don't get me wrong. This isn't a driver's car. This isn't a performance vehicle. In the slightest. This is to carry people. It's a people carrier. Exactly. So, where do we start off? Okay. So interior. We'll start with the interior. So up front, we've got the, you know, the driver's sort yeah. of dashboard, and it's sort of a concave design. Exactly. You so have you've got everything you need as a driver up front near you. This is a basic model, so it comes with a 5-inch touchscreen as opposed to the 8.4. Exactly. With a full infotainment system. Uh, now, it features something called the Uconnect system. Now, the Uconnect system is a different version of... Imagine, like, car, Apple CarPlay, but not Apple CarPlay. So, the Uconnect, I'm not a massive, massive fan of, to start off with. And that's just personal preference. I'm happier with the basic necessities. It's really easy to get the hold of, really easy to use. So anybody for the first time, once it's been an hour or two, you can get really used to it. It's very simply laid out. And see, honestly, over here in this region, I have a Uconnect in my car. Yeah. I don't use it. I'm just using the Bluetooth and yes. I'm using the radio. And that just works fine. You have the navigation, you have yes. the uh, reverse camera. Okay, mm -hmm. which which is decent. I wouldn't say it's bad. Yes. No, okay. the reverse camera on this is is not bad. You don't have sensors at the front, which is something that's missing on this option. Okay, yes. but you can option you can option a lot of things yes. in this, so this car. This car can be optioned quite high. We at the moment we've got quite a basic version. That's quite good to bring to you, so you know what your money will buy you at base level. Exactly. So now going back to what you see, you've got this. Quite honestly, I really like this uh, gauge cluster. Yeah. I think it's a beautiful design. It's covered with blue LEDs. It's quite uh, you, the digital screen you've got it in the middle elegant. is quite high definition. It's very elegant, as Ahmed puts it. Now, on the steering wheel, it feels very well made. It's quite chunky. It's larger than it's an average. Uh, it's leather. leather. It's got all the buttons I could need, although it's got three blank ones. That's options. These are the options that yes. you're talking about. Of so course. if you option everything, you will get your buttons, you will get a lot more. Trust yes. us when we say a lot more. Yes, you will get so much more. You will be surprised what you can get. Yes. A vacuum cleaner. Yes, that is one of the options. You can options. get a vacuum cleaner in a van. So you don't have to worry about your kids this throwing is, things around. This is the ultimate <laughs> family car. It is for a family. And at the end of the day, you're going to have kids in a family that are quite young. I'm so excited to see a vacuum cleaner in a car. <laughs> I've never seen that. No. <laughs> it's not something you do see option. Uh, often. Now, up front, it's got a different design, so being able to change gears on quite easy. On the center console, uh, let's do yeah. the ACs is quite exactly. easy. Everything is close to hand. Now, this car has got quite a lot of nifty little features, we'll put it. So, I don't know about you. Has, did your parents ever tell you about the eye at the back of their head? Uh, yeah. That so, you do something and that they're like, <laughs> yes. what did you do? It's like, nothing. <laughs> so, when you're driving, <laughs> everybody will be used to this, the eye at the back of their head. So they'll be driving, and obviously, now I know they're looking in the passenger yeah. window. So you'd be irritating your little brother or your little sister, and so the eye at the back of my head tells you you're doing this. Well now, Chrysler have options, an eye at the back of your head. A nifty little uh, mirror that's got <laughs> um, a sort of like a fisheye Yeah, a, look. what's it called? Concave, concave yes. Yeah, yeah. So you can see what your rear passengers are doing. So no longer is the eye at the back of the head a necessary option for 
Uh, and this is one of the cool things that we're yes. talking about. Like, I didn't even know that there is such a thing. Yes. At all. Vacuum, and you have a concave mirror to yes. see your kids in the back. I mean, what else? So. To continue what I was talking about, we'll go on to the power of using the car, which is something that does have to be touched upon. Um, it's enough. That's all you need. You're not going to be late for You're the school. You're not going to be racing in, You're not, in it's the not, car. It's not a race car. Yeah. It's enough. Uh, you've got enough to overtake. It's a really, really smooth car. In the corners, you know, you don't feel like you're being shifted across the place, even though the camera might be. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the ride as well is sublime. So so smooth. It is potentially. It's think, is it the smoothest car we've re reviewed so far? Uh, one of the smoothest. Thank oh. you, Louis. You're welcome. This is one of the smoothest cars that you know we've been. I've been driven yes. on. Um, I would say it's the smoothest car we've been we've been given to review on Just Drive so far. Uh, I beg to differ. It's one of the smoothest cars. I oh, would say, say the smoothest. smoothest. Comfort wise? No, no, smooth as in the ride. Oh, ride smoothness. I would say the Alpha. Really? I would give it a smooth ride compared to this. The Alpha was smooth. It was very smooth, but in my head, this is smoother at the moment. That's coming from somebody who loves that Alpha. <laughs> okay. Anyway, inside inside the car at the front, just like we said, you have the center console that's a, a right where you need it. You have your AC control, you have your volume control, you have your tuning control, and you have the camera shifting everywhere. <laughs> The people just want to see me at it, let's be You honest. have your tuning control, you have the gear, I would say dial. Gear selector. Gear selector or gear dial. Yes. Okay. It's quite unusual, we don't see this in many but cars. But you being at the driver position, the glove box is way too far for you. Yes. But this so, is the thing, this car has so many cubby holes and storage points. Yeah. Uh, it is just, <laughs> at this point, it's ridiculous. It's, I've, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Storage point. Just like easy to the hand exactly. to do. And th that's the thing. There is a storage area right under the center console that you yes. wouldn't need to open the glove box. You would, yes. just, you would put it's, all it's of It's more the... than enough. Exactly. And pretty much look and see. I, you can't think of hello again. I know you want to see me. Okay, I know that people love me, but... Going back to it, okay, yes. we would like to point out as well that... Um, or I'd like to point out, I don't know if you need to include this until afterwards. This has got a very smooth dash which is why we've just got the GoPro resting on it. Yes. So, which is why that you might have a bump. Bear with us, a lot of yes. equipments are coming. Yes. Okay, we wouldn't have to do this in a couple of weeks, hopefully. So just bear with us. Yes. We might have camera shut down because of the heat, but other than that, bear with us. <laughs> okay. Continuing on. So, this has got a more than an adequate range to it, which is something that's obviously important when you're looking for a car. If there's a decent, um, highway range so i think it's like 33 miles to the gallon or kilometers 33 miles to the gallon on the highway and 18 city now that's pretty good for a car of this size so the car itself has four access points you've obviously got the two front doors and you've got the two sliding doors and, and if you want to count the boot i feel i felt like i'm on an airplane two at the front two at the back and then we've got the sides so what we're going to do is we're going to switch up this review a little it's not going to be like a normal review. No, no, no. We're not going to have Louis drive and Ahmed drive because we know who you really want to see. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> we're going to chuck Ahmed in the back. So. Go on. Yeah. Next to you. Okay. Let's hop in the back and enjoy being chauffeured. Have you got the drill strap in, sir? The one is ready to take you. Excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> you have your own functions, my good man. We shall begin the drive. Yes. Would you like to strap in or No 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 no, no. I'll enjoy I trust you. Around. I trust well, you. Well you are wrong to trust me, Ahmed. I trust you. You are very wrong to trust me. What do we have here in the back? As you can see, there are there is a lot of space over here. These chairs right now are in a captain seat position, uh, which is surprising. There is an extra chair over here that you can actually remove. So we remove this chair, 
we put it in the back and the trunk so you know that or oh, there's actually not trunk so we just put it in the back of the car and now we have captain chairs so we would like to point out the car does have eight seats however we've currently got it in a seven seat uh family configuration the good thing is there's a lot of space i'm just moving around from seat to seat um adjusting the seat so yeah it's it's plenty of space just imagine there are a lot of a lot more people over here and you can see how spacious it is and i can also hop in the back and fix these and fix these and you have a lot of seating over here also you get your cup holders it's it's quite good i'm just like laying down we'd like to point out that this fisheye sort of uh, mirror the concave mirror you can see Ahmed probably doing things he shouldn't be doing <laughs> put your seat belt on no seat belt i'm being chauffeured you have to go a seat belt in a chauffeur go <laughs> okay it's nice you can fit what one two three four five people in a captain configuration and if you put the extra chair that we removed you can make them six people and just to show you where the seat is stored it's literally right over here if you can see it mind my hand but yeah that's a lot of storage space with the seat how are you doing back there for usbs hmm i think in this option i'm not seeing many usbs there aren't like any visible USBs to me. How about in the row in front? Not even the row for up front. Well, that's very surprising. Yes. So you have, you are the main control of our entertainment. Well, you could always control through Bluetooth. Exactly. However, or if you have the higher option, you will have more USBs. You will have third row controlled electronically. And there's one extra feature that I didn't show you in this car, which is called tug stow and go why did i say tug and go i don't know that sounds really dodgy yeah stow and go you literally can fold both of these seats in the front of me you can fold them to have one extra large area and it's a lot of space you have here over you know the nets the storage nets you have the cup holders on the side and you have cup holders in the back it's really nice, it's decent, it's comfortable, even though I'm sitting awkwardly just because I'm moving around, it's comfortable enough to... How is the space you've got behind me? Oh, behind you? Yes. That's So I've moved my seat to your normal position. Position. To the normal wheel position. And I've got a lot of leg room up front. Man, you know, I've got at least four I inches. have a lot of room here. Wow, that's really quite surprising. Yeah, I have like, like my knee aren't touching the chair. Okay. But just my toes are under your seat. Something but still. I read that um, something I read about this car is that um, it has got a seating position that you are supposed to tuck your feet underneath the seat in front. Oh, and so it's a normal thing. to be yes. So that's got extra like feet room for you to wiggle your feet. Yeah. Um, it gives uh, extra knee room because of the seating position. Exactly. I. Hmm. So here you go. How, will, how do you feel about the ride from at the back? It's comfortable, surprising, like, you know, with your driving style, you're trying to throw me around on purpose, okay? <laughs> it's, 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 it's good and comfortable. Well, that's good, because I am really trying to throw you around. I noticed that. <laughs> also, you have shades that you can remove. So this is a, a nice little feature in a car like this. You would want to shade yourself from the sun, the heating sun in Bahrain. So, here you go, you have it. It's nice, I might actually just spend the whole day here and have you chauffeur me around. <laughs> so, would you like to switch over and see how it is for you? Sure. A man your size in the back. Yeah, no, that's not bad at all. Oh, and with your seating position, I've got plenty, oh no, okay. Hang on, Ahmed, what are you doing? <laughs> picking position and sticking it okay so what I've done yeah is I put the seat away into its uh, lower storage place so the car's got a 
what was what's it called? Stow and go. It's got stow stow and go setting, so you can stow the seat and go. And I'm using that to lay down. <sighs> so how are you finding the ride comfort not on the floor but I have to say the ride comfort on the floor even is smooth. I mean like I am completely sprawled out here at the back. Like imagine put you could literally honestly you could put all of these seats down and just put a mattress here and go to sleep. Handy across Europe. Yes. Mid tour naps. So your thoughts, your impressions of the back seat Honestly or it's on the back floor. It's not too bad. Like it's genuinely really nice. So I'm in the third row now. As you can see there's plenty of legroom. Uh all the leg room in the world. Oops. There goes my flip flop. Now this, this is I can get used to. What's Ahmed, my good man, do take me to the the Bentley. This is genuine. This has got so much room at the back. I'm so surprised. I mean, even with the seat in the normal position. You know, it is for a normal human being enough room. I can see your head here. I said for a normal human being. There is nothing normal about me. But for anybody under the height of six foot. Or five meters. Or five meters? Not five meters tall. Well, I am five meters tall. That's actually the secret. Um, these are giant cars. It is. It's, it's a big car. With a lot of space, a lot of room. It is, certainly. You can carry lots of things, you can carry lots of people, you can carry lots of luggage. And yes, of you can. And you can do it rather comfortably. Oh. How, how, am, I, how am I looking in that uh, rear view mirror? In the yes. Sky. I can see you well relaxed. I am definitely well relaxed. A couple of cushions. I've got the AC blowing directly on me. There's a, uh, oh, there's a seatbelt here. Oh, that. Yeah, that's for the center seat, I believe. So that's a roof seatbelt? Yes. So it comes from the top here and plugs in First time there, that. I think, no? On the seat that we've put in the uh, back. But no, I'm, I'm very comfortable. It's a good looking car. Also. It's surprising for a minivan. It's a it's it's a Chrysler. It has the it's Chrysler a 2019 look. Chrysler look. You've got the headlights. You've got the feel. I mean, even throughout. Don't get me wrong. This isn't German engineered to feel like the most pristine, but it's American engineered to feel the same. It's, it's a good feeling look. car, but the materials used, in my opinion, aren't as good as potentially. Um, in the German ones. The car itself, just going back to the outside, mm -hmm. it looks modern. It yes, looks it is. It's a good looking car. Exactly. And also you have the power tailgate, mm -hmm. which is also a nice feature for you. And, yes. You know. Now this is a bare bones model. And that's something that we've got to point out. You can get upgraded features. You, you can, can get the bigger infotainment. You can get excess uh, USB points. You can get... Different color seats also. Yes. You can have you know, bigger screen, you can have USB, you can have, over here you can have the screens where you, you can, can get the play against each other. Our final thoughts yes. on the Pacifica yes. Chrysler. So, we were, well I was certainly, pleasantly surprised. How about you? Yeah, I was surprised with all the features, yes. if you get the full option, even in this one, the space, the yes. amount of people it can carry. It's, it's actually surprising. Yes. And all the nice things that you have. Oh, definitely. There's so much you can really do with this car. So many things and usability that it has that you could essentially, you know, do a full works day, carry, you know, big pieces of wood in this car, for example, and then go to take the whole family out to dinner, and then in the morning take your kids to a sports practice. All in the same car, all probably off the same tank of petrol. Yes, because it's, you know, it's quite good. Exactly. Well. Comfortable, looks smooth. good, smooth, and lots of space, lots of storage. You have all of your amenities. Is it amenities? Yes, amenities. Okay, you have all of your amenities and all of the driving comforts and all of that in the car, USB, Bluetooth, AUX, 
for a long trip and a long journey. So yes, you could take your family cross country in this, yes. and they would be comfortable. Exactly, and they would be fully entertained. I mean, this version, this model does come with the U Connect, so that means that you can get games on tablets at the back to connect. If you have the option. Yes, with the optional extras, you can get movies played, you can see, you know, plenty. It's it's plenty a very family-friendly car. Yeah. Uh, and if you are in the market for a family car, yes. okay, a minivan, pop into Bahbahani Bahrain, the Chrysler, yes. Jeep and Dodge and Ram. Sure. Or your local Chrysler dealership. Exactly. Because this is a car and MPV we certainly recommend. I think at the end of our review of the Chrysler Pacifica, it's a car that we like. It has a little bit of drawbacks here and there, we've mentioned, yes. but overall, it's a decent car. It's a yes. good car to be considered as well. Yes. And I think that's pretty much it. We would yeah. like to thank Zach. Zach, as from, usual, from Beck Bahani, who is the usual. marketing manager of Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge Ram, Dodge Ram and Alfa, Alfa Romeo. Fiat, and so on and so forth. Exactly. We'd like to thank Beck Bahani Bahrain yes. for their nice Always support and, and support providing support. us this. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. And if you have any comments about the car, if you have any comments at all, about us, about us, just leave them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time, stay tuned and just drive. Bye.